All right, and the last one on the slides is systems and components 21. Could you use the form of the Darcy equation for fluid flow, friction loss, and conduits, page 468 of the reference handbook? So this one, let me grab the whiteboard here. This was one about um, hydraulic diameter versus duct diameter. So there's um, the regular old Darcy equation, which we all know. Um, we can say HF equals F L V squared over two DG. And this is the approach um, in the written solution and in the video solution. So I won't belabor that you have all that. Uh, it leads to a certain answer. And uh, I think that's pretty clear. But then the, the question really here is, can we use this other equation instead? So the other equation is for fluid flow, friction loss in conduits on page 468. So that equation to face off with this, it's given a little bit differently instead of HF, which usually comes out in feet when we use the standard Darcy equation. This one is given as delta P sub F equals 12 F L over D sub H, the hydraulic diameter times rho velocity over 1097 squared. And there's some requirements for this. The first is that, well, F is unitless and that's given in the problem. So no issue there. And L, we wanna know the friction loss per hundred feet. So that's also known. Uh, and the velocity we don't know, but we can find that out from the continuity equation, Q equals VA. Um, we have the volume flow rate. It's a rectangular duct where the dimensions are known. So we can find the exact area of that duct and we can work out the velocity. So the velocity is knowable. And the density, there's not a lot of information given about temperature, but it's uh, it's probably like room temperature air. So we're gonna make the safe assumption here that the density is just 0 0.075. That does have to be in pounds per cubic feet. But the most interesting part of the problem is the use of the hydraulic diameter in the denominator. And that's where this solution path tends to go astray from the standard Darcy equation, which would otherwise get you to the same place. In this, um, I made the assumption, which I thought was pretty reasonable in the solution, that the diameter, since it's not a circle, it's not a round duct, it's a square duct, should be DE, DE, the equivalent diameter for a duct. And what's the search term you can use in the reference handbook for that? Equivalent diameter? Duct, maybe? Duct's probably going to come up 100 times. Hydraulic diameter, that's one option. Here it is, rectangular ducts. So that's a function of this equation where A and B are the length and width of the duct. So that's what I used in the written solution in the solution video which is distinct from the hydraulic diameter, which is 4A over P, where A is the area and P is the perimeter. So I worked this problem both ways and I'll spare you the gory details, but if you do that, you get a difference between the hydraulic diameter, DH, turns out to be 10.18 inches. And by the way, for this equation, this has to be in inches. Everything else kind of works out. This has to be in uh, feet per minute to go with the 1097. So this is kind of a rule of thumb equation where everything has to be like in the right units going in. Um, distinguish that from D sub E, the diameter of a duct. I don't know if I wrote down the number, but I'll just give you the, the final conclusion. This delta P turned out to be 0 0.182 and that comes out in inches of water. Uh, and HF in the original had come out to be 0 0.15 inches. Doesn't come out directly in inches. You have to do some unit conversions, which I show in the video, but uh, just to get it into apples to apples, we want inches of water to make that comparison. And to be fair, that's a 20% that's a error. So, which is right. And um, 
I guess it comes down to, should you use DE or should you use DH? My argument is that it's a duct, so you should use the diameter for a rectangular duct. So I'm kind of sticking with option A. Um, I don't think it's quite true to refer to this as a conduit. I would think of a conduit as generally something smaller. Um, but I think it's interesting that it comes out kind of close. And I think, again, all of the other numbers in here, this you have to carry all the units and figure it out and do unit conversions along the way. This is more of a rule of thumb approach. Um, but like I said, they'll they'll both get you to the same place if you use the same diameter. Um, but this calls for the hydraulic diameter. And this, in my opinion, should use the duct diameter if it's a non-circular non duct.